Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today it's really gonna be a playhouse. <laughs> I was watching YouTube videos the other day with my cousin and we kind of found our way into some YouTube channels that uh, was about people with metal detectors going around finding stuff. And I kind of uh, think I might have mentioned mentioned that that would be really fun and that I didn't have a metal detector and my cousin said oh, we have a metal detector somewhere it's not very good but you can borrow it and um, I did <laughs> I borrowed it and they even kind of said that they didn't want it back it's it's just some it's a really cheap one apparently and it has been sitting in their barn for apparently sometimes because it's really dusty and stuff I wanted to play with this and I even used some time to charge up a couple of 9 volt batteries for it and, but I think I'm gonna start with cleaning it up because it might be a good idea to do it the other way around though if it's absolutely dead there's really no reason to clean it up so I think we'll put in a couple of batteries to see if there's life in it at all okay this is kind of odd it says here that power supply B1, 18 volts, uh, DC, 2 times 9 volt batteries, and then there's B2, 9 volt DC, and there's one battery here and room for two batteries over there. Um, I haven't got the faintest idea what that's all about. I'm gonna try and put the two in there and see if. if B1 is, is enough. I don't have well, in there. I only have those two 9 volts batteries right now. I think. Have another one. I don't think there's a lot of power on it. Let's see what happens. It's not. It's not totally dead. There's light in that light diode. Let's see if it can find the screwdriver. cable is kind of in the way. It's not doing very much. Let's try another one. Well, I guess I'll have to play around with this a little bit to see if, if I can get it up and running. So I've been playing a little bit with it and I don't know if you can see the display down here and the light might be too much. I have a little, have a little iron car on the and when the meter goes over that the needle goes up and there's a green light diode so apparently this thing is working to some extent it's definitely not very sensible I'm only a, f a little bit over the car and it's absolutely not showing anything if I go further down it, sh it shows something but I guess it's a okay to play with so I'm gonna clean it up anyway so let's bring it out into the kitchen and clean this thing up beep, 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 beep. it is kind of dirty
So, a lot cleaner. So I'm playing around with this metal detector again and it is working. Like out here there's more or less nothing. And it's a bit hard because I know for a fact that there's lots of nails in this floor. But um, if you find somewhere where not too much is happening, you can auto arrange it and zero it. And when it comes over to this car, it goes all the way up to green. And when you come over to this little screwdriver, it goes to the red side. So it is kind of working. I don't know where the sound went because there was sound on this. It is working. Uh, I've been watching some YouTube things and some the manual about this, and I don't think it's very good. But it does see this screwdriver. It's all red. You have to get very close to it. There, it's, it's more or less gone, and it's only a couple of centimeters. Okay, I made a little test set up here, and the idea is to measure how deep this will go. This is just in, in air, but it will probably give me an idea of how sensible this thing is. And I've just been moving things around on the table to remove every, oh, not to remove, but to make a further distance to all the metal around here. Let's see if I can see what we're seeing. I can't. But let's start by, it's, it has an auto zero out on the handle like that. And then I can take this little car and put in front of it and it maxes out and the little green light diode comes on. Can we see that? Yeah, we can see the little green light diode and it works on the car. Let's just zero that out again and see how close the car has to be before it gets green. I'm driving the car forth and back in front of it. There it is. And that's about, about seven inches. The car is seven inches. Just move that out of the way. And find something else. I have, I have this little screwdriver. And I'm gonna zero the meter out again. And see how far the screwdriver needs to go before it something is happening yeah it detected it right around there that's around three inches away from the so and that's a rather big screwdriver so three inches a tiny little screw here. I want to see if this is detected at all. So I'm gonna zero it out again. There we are. I've maxed out the sensitivity and the discrimination is at minimum and oh it found something that wasn't even there. Stop doing that. Yeah. It can see the screw, but the screw has to go very close. and a half was kind of the best result. Um, I'm gonna try and do Here I have an empty tin can. Um, 
there's been cat food in this one. I'm gonna see how sensible this is. It's kind of seeing something. Oh, I'm gonna try that again. Zero this out again. Hmm. Now it's teasing me. Zero it out and it just goes nuts. Boom. Uh, maybe the house ghost is waving its chain in front of the bloody thing. Hmm. I think I'll have to try and start this over. I think I found the error. Uh, down here there's a battery testing thing when it's in operating mode it's it's of course operating but there's a battery test for battery 2 and that's between yellow and red so not good and battery 1 is on the yellow thing uh, which is not good and it has to be at the green thing up here for the batteries to be good. So hmm, I'm out of battery on it. I've only been playing for yeah, a little we'll have to check the batteries. Let's see how they're doing. One of them is here. should be okay these two are rechargeable this one is normal alkaline Is at them. Nine point four nine and eight point eight five. Hmm. That might be it. Or they're just not able to uh, supply a decent amount of amps. Okay, I checked this one, and this is good delivers a fair amount of power um, but these two they 
absolutely dies as soon as they have to to deliver any any amount of power although the voltage is this one is 8.94 and this one is 9.51 I'm gonna try and give this one a shock in the basement yeah it I started by charging this with 15 volts and it didn't really draw any amount of power but uh, I cranked it up to about 25 volts and it it took a hundred milliamps and at least the, the voltage is, is very good at it right now but yeah I think it's kind of bad I think I'm gonna put it back in the charger and see if it can be charged up again it's it's not good that it has to have 25 volts applied to it before it, it can start charging it's not entirely not dangerous not uh, to charge a 9 volt battery with 25 volts so I did it very briefly here I have a little a tiny little pump and it, it runs from about 6 volts to about 12 volts it actually also runs on 18 volts because I've had this running with with two of these batteries hooked together like this like making a little series but um, this is the bad battery and if I hook this up nothing happens it's not running around in there but if I take this one, which is a good battery, you can hear it running. And if I take this battery, that's even better, I think. You can hear it, it has a higher pitch, it's running faster. So, this battery is not very good at... Oh, that's not it. That's not this one. It's not working. So I have a bad rechargeable battery. That's probably what has been teasing me on the metal detector most of the time. So these three batteries has been on the charger all night. This one was the really bad one. And these two was two. They're not really rechargeable, but <clears throat> if you have a really slow charger, uh, you're able to put in a little power in, on them anyway. So I'm gonna measure how the voltage is on them. Start with the actual rechargeable one and that's 10.5. That seems very very good. And the not rechargeable ones are 10.8 10.229 that's a lot of power let's see if if it's actually able to to run the little pump the rechargeable it's running it's not running very good but it's running much power. There's a lot more power in this one and that has just been sitting on the table for a day. This is good and that is good and that is good. I'm gonna take the the three best batteries and put them in the metal detector. batteries and try the metal detector again. So the 
batteries are in and the metal detector is currently off. Um, I'll read the manual for this thing. I can't remember everything, but it's rather important than when it's off that the needle is in zero position. Otherwise, you could you could trim it with a little trim thing down in this hole. But let's turn it on. Oh, we have sound on now as well. I have the problem with this floor underneath the the this very old ugly rock. There is a wooden floor and there's nails in the wooden floor, so it's not not sure that this is good. So we'll try and press the thing here. If I'm not mistaken, the the nails should go this way over the floor. So if I have a nail here, I should be able to get one this way too. So if not anything else, it's possible to find where the where the nails go in the in, in the floor. To give you an idea, it's a it's a floor like this. And now I have to auto correct it again. Out here there's, there's concrete, apparently not as much iron. complains if I get too far away from the guard. Hmm. That's, that's weird. I'm really very new to this. There is frost in the ground. When I started this video everything was good. But now winter has really come and it, the ground has frozen. So. I'm not going to be able to go out on treasure hunts right now. I'll have to wait until the, the ground is good again. But I guess it doesn't mean that we can't go out and try it on the lawn. I'm just not able to, to dig anything up. So let's go outside. Ugh, too many things in my hands. I'm sure there's a lot of crap in my lawn here.
something over here. Yeah, there's some, there's some hidden treasure in the lawn for when the frost leaves the ground. So I returned to the winter garden and I have this, this little screw. I wanted to see if the metal detector could find this. So we're just going to drop it on the floor. And I'm going to see, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> randomly drop it in angle. Where? Everybody can see it. And we're gonna turn on the device. And zero it out. It's not able to find the screw in this configuration. I'll change the configuration to... There's a T1. It's not finding the screw at all. Hold it. Apparently this is too small. Yeah, this metal detector is absolutely entry level. It's uh, searched the internet and they recommend it for, uh, for kids to play around with. Um, I'm gonna play around with it even though I might be a bit too old to really go under the kid category. Even though I always try. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm gonna play with it when it becomes hotter in the weather and we can go to the beach and see if we can find golden treasures or only bottle caps. I've, I've tried this before and I found a lot of bottle caps, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my videos, give it a little thumbs up. It always helps and um, have a really nice day. Bye bye.